Hi guys and a very very warm welcome on this video series on Elastic 3 from Ubershow. My name's Larry Holcomb aka Get to Know and I'm going to be delivering this video series on this amazing plugin for you. Now Elastic 3 is essentially a very innovative approach to dealing with loops and also kind of organizing and utilizing your Ubershow sample library. So whereas in the past you'd buy a sample pack and then you'd drag and drop sounds into your DAW, with Elastic 3 you can basically audition the sounds in time, in tune with your track. You can arrange them to kind of mix and match sounds from different sources. And you can also manipulate these sounds using the Loopi wheel in the middle here. So it's a really, really exciting tool to use within your production. It's also designed with very, very high quality algorithms to manipulate time and pitch, whilst also maintaining a low CPU load. Okay, so in this first video, we're gonna talk about how to input your libraries into Elastic 3 and also a bit about the interface. So let's dive in. Okay, so at the moment you can see I have nothing loaded in. So what I'm gonna do is add in the demo sound bank. And this is the same process for any of the sound banks that you want to load in. So I'll just move across to the finder. And here I have the demo sound bank access. And what I need to do is come to this Ubershow menu up here, click setup, and this is where I can go through and actually add in my library. So I click hold and drop and it gives us some kind of license information. Click OK. It's going to ask me if I've read the terms and conditions. Click OK. And I can come out of this window now. And now what I can do is click on the demo soundback icon here and it's going to give me different folders of sounds and you can see there's loads of different options to choose from and within these I have various different sounds to work with. Okay, so let's have a look at the interface so we know what everything is called and where it's located. We have the browser up here, which will see where we can organize and choose our sounds. This is where we have the manipulation area of our loops, the loop high area where we can manipulate different parameters and change our kind of start and end points, etc. There's loads we can do in here. We're going to be covering that as the video series progresses. And down here we have the area where we can take charge of mapping our samples in terms of where they're going to be playing back on the keyboard. Okay, so that's it for our first video on Elastic 3. So we've learnt how to import our sound banks. Remember, it was click up onto here onto Setup, and we can drag and drop any sound banks that are there. We can also use the plus button if we want to go through that way rather than drag and drop. We can also remove a sound bank by clicking on the minus button here. And then we had a look at the interface. So we have the browser area here. We have the loop high loop manipulation area across here. And we also have our kind of sample trigger mapping section at the bottom here. So now we've covered the very basics of Elastic 3. In the next video, we're going to have a look at the browser and auditioning sounds in time and in tune with our track in a little bit more detail. So I'll see you then. Thanks for watching.